Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Abisola Adebayo. The Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs has announced that 130 Nigerians have been received by the country's embassy in Romania. In a statement signed by the ministry's permanent secretary, Gabriel Aduda, the embassy has also provided accommodation for them while arrangements are being made to take them back home. Aduda further revealed that another batch of about 200 Nigerians are expected in Budapest later in the day. He also said 52 persons have been received in Warsaw, Poland. The leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, is leading a protest to the National Assembly to demand overwhelming votes from the federal lawmakers ahead of the clause-by-clause -clause voting on the ongoing constitution alteration process. The Labour leaders are demanding that the lawmakers vote in favour of autonomy for the local government and the judiciary. They insist that the lack of autonomy for the judicial arm of government, as well as the local government as the third chair of the government, runs contrary to democratic principles. Justice Eyang Ekwa of the Federal High Court in Abuja has declined to grant the bail application of suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police Abakiari. Justice Ekwa in a ruling on Monday said the application had been overtaken by events following an order of a sister court granting the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency's prayers to detain Kiari for another 14 days to enable it to conclude its investigations. Justice Ekwa held that the sister court, which gave the, NDLEA, which gave the order in favor of NDLEA, was a court of coordinate jurisdiction. He, however, said it will hear Kiari's fundamental enforcement rights suit with the urgency it deserves after the expiration of the 14-day court order. Hong Kong, Hong Kong authorities say the country may impose a China-style hard lockdown that confines people to their homes with the city's zero-COVID strategy in tatters and bodies piling up in hospitals. Two years of strict zero-COVID policies kept the coronavirus largely at bay in the country, but a breakthrough of the highly transmissible Omicron variant exposed how little authorities are done to prepare for a mass outbreak. Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam previously ruled out a country a city-wide lockdown and instead has ordered all 7.4 million residents to be tested in March 2022. Vice President Yemi Oshima Joan, Governor Babajide Sonwolu, has commissioned the $100 million state of the art premium diaper brand Oggies and leading sanitary pad brand Cortex factory at Odongunyo in Ikorodu, Lagos. At the commissioning of the new plant built by Kimberly Clark, Nigeria, Oshima just said the multi million dollar investment is strategically aligned with the present administration's drive for domestic production and human capital development. Recognizing members of the female-led management team whom he called Amazons, Governor Babajide Sonwulu acknowledged the importance of the factory to the Ikorodu community. And on the foreign scene, South Korea and Singapore have unveiled sanctions to punish Russia for invading Ukraine, offering rare pushback against Moscow. South Korea's foreign ministry in a signed statement said the country will ban export of strategic items, join other countries in blocking some Russian banks from the SWIFT international payment system, and boost aid to Ukraine. In a similar development, Singapore says it will impose appropriate sanctions and restrictions, including financial measures and export controls on items that could be used as weapons against the people of Ukraine. Paul Onochu netted the 16th goal in the Belgian Jupiler this season as Gang defeated visiting Kotri 2 0 on Sunday. Onochu also had an assist as he set up Black Stars of Ghana forward Joseph Painsale for Gang's second goal. The 27 year old has now taken his tally to 18 in 33 games in all competitions this campaign. Following the win, Gang's, Gang maintained 8th place on 44 point Europa League playoff spot in the league table. Well, that's all on the newsroom at this time. Many thanks for watching.